thank you guys very much for having us. Uh, I want to thank your Brian and Patty. Huh? Is your mic on? Can yeah. you hear us? Okay. I want to thank Brian and Patty. I want to thank Secure, Cody and Lauren, and the CA group, uh, Secure Agent Marketing. Everybody has been awesome to work with. We, we really appreciate it. We love the, uh, um, the, uh, the family atmosphere. We love the integrity. We've been searching for that. Amy and I have been searching for that trust and integrity in a group that can help us grow and grow to the next level. And uh, we found a home, so we appreciate it. Uh, thinking big, we learned at 8%. We were big within our, our uh, FMO of under 65 health insurance. Amy herself is a 1% uh, producer. So she knows what she's doing and she produces at a high level. And when we went to 8% uh, Nation in Dallas last year, it really opened our eyes and opened our mind to there's so much more out there and there's such a bigger market and a bigger thing to think about where we could take our agency and what we could do with it. And uh, so here we are and, and we're, we're glad to be here. And I think it was just a brush, breath of fresh air to learn that you can do something big um, and ha have God's blessings and you know do it integrally. Um, you know, I struggled a little bit once I got from the, you know, food stamps to just making ends meet to here, and I was a little bit afraid of success, however weird that sounds, but more of I really despise arrogancy, and a lot of times that comes with um, success and money, and I didn't want people to feel that way about me, but one time in my quiet time with the Lord, he's like, but just think of what we can do with the rest and all the people we can help. I'm like, oh, yes, I'm in. You do whatever you want. I'm just here to, to you know, be the be the word, voice, so that's kind of our story. Do you awesome. want to start the Yep, we'll get this started. Say, unstoppable. Oh, you got that in there, say yes. Yes. Yeah. Oh, wait, put it in the lift, put it in the lift. Say power. Is it supposed to come up up here? No, up here. No? Okay. So that was Amy eating fire on stage at 8%. <laughs> <laughs> that thing you've been hearing about so far. Um, there it is. So this is uh, just a little bit backstory about us and our family. Um, the first picture there in the top left is Steve and I. One of the uh, carrier trips that we earned. This happened to be in Portugal. So not only have we gone from you know broke to traveling the world, um, it's been just a real a real blessing. Um, had God shown me what was going to happen within this business, I would have thought there's no way I can do all that. I just need to do the food, clothing, shelter thing because these guys want to eat more than once a day for some reason. <laughs> um, but he's turned it into so much more. And we have 11 uh, uh, teammates here that are just amazing. So um, that's us. Next to that is Audra, the one who said, why don't you get a real job, do something that you're good at. Um, you'll learn a little bit why I kind of had a little bit of a roller coaster start. Um, but she is married to Aaron, they have little Max, so first grand, grand kiddo, and then Sadie Mae, and then they're having a little girl, Lillian uh, Louise, the end of July. July. The April, day before 8%. 8%, so I'm already getting <laughs> grief. Um, and then below them is Nelson, he is here with us. Um, he is an agent in the office, he is good at sales, but his mind is more analytical, so he helps us with all that other stuff. Um, and he is a grad student right now, at Rockhurst University getting his MBA. So he can just do all the business side stuff. <laughs> and then Emma Grace is uh, 17. She just finishing her junior year of high school and I actually homeschool her in the meantime. So if you all ever wanna come over for a little anatomy lesson, we're dissecting cow eyeballs and all kinds of stuff, fun stuff. So that's our life and our, our whys. So um, a little bit about our start. You heard a little bit about my story. Um, I was a single mom with three kids, just trying to figure out how to make that happen. All I really had was a life insurance uh, policy that I had a $10,000 cash benefit in, cash that out to start life over again with these guys. Um, I have a master's degree in health and wellness, and I thought it'd be quick to just get a J-O-B, right? That's what I was used to. Um, but it really wasn't that easy, and a health insurance opportunity came across my lap literally laughed out loud because no little kid in career class is like, I want to be a health insurance agent when I grow up, except for maybe our kids because they see what this is doing. Not just ours, you, you all's too. So anyway, I took that opportunity and just sat at the feet of people that are really successful, which is what you all are doing here and, and teaming up with Brian and Cody and everyone, um, and just followed the recipe. And you know, it's, grind, it's a grind initially, but don't give up. 
So it's it's way worth it. Um, so again, like I said, just just so blessed that the Lord's taken us to where where we're at right now, and we just can't wait to continue partnering with Him and blessing more people. Absolutely. Um, so I came into uh, this industry through the golf industry. I was a golf professional for 10 years. I sold golf equipment wholesale for another eight years in Southern California in the Los Angeles area, one of the best territories in the golf industry to sell golf equipment in. Uh, but in 2008, the economy go, you know, goes down and people stop playing leisure sports. They stop buying leisure sports equipment. So I had uh, choices to make. I stick this out and be better for it or I find something else to do. If I stuck it out, I remember seeing 65-year-old guys walking into golf shops, schlepping golf bags in, trying to sell golf bags to the golf shop. And I'm like, I do not want to be that guy. I'm not going to be that guy. So um, I went and I got my uh, health and life license. And before I even went, did anything, I got a call. And the call was from uh, the group that we worked with in under 65. And uh, he's like, don't do anything. Come see me. I, I packed up all my stuff. I drove to Kansas City, and with the trailer still on my truck, I come into the meeting. I'm sitting next to him. Amy walks in, and then that's about where we were inseparable ever since. <laughs> <laughs> so, so our, our our manager was a super good recruiter. He could recruit people all over the place, but he was a horrible uh, instructor or teacher of of what we do. Yeah, someone mentioned earlier today that when they started, you got a stack of old leads, yeah, a couple scripts. It. Call me if you need something. Yep. I'm like, what? Yeah. So, so we had to figure it out on our own. We had to do it on our own. And so people in the office would pair up together, and we'd figure it out. And we'd talk about it, and we'd, we'd learn stuff from other people, and then we'd implement. And so we've taken that uh, throughout our entire career. This is nine, nine years and under 65. And every time we'd go to an event, we would learn something. We would take it back. We'd implement it into our business and then let, it, let that blossom. And we've done that every single time until we got to the top of that FMO and there was almost nothing, nowhere else to go, no, nothing else we could learn unless we learned it on our own. Go to 8% and now here we are. We're blowing, blowing up uh, our thought process. So. Oh, let's see if I can, I can't read the small <laughs> print from here. So um, in Polaris Insurance Solutions, we really have some core belief statements that we share with our clients. Um, I'm going to read from here because I can't see that's because I am over 50. So we believe health insurance is boring and confusing, yet it's one of the most important things that you'll ever secure to protect yourself, your family, from birth to Medicare. 66.5% of bankruptcies are medical bill related. Half of those people had health insurance. We believe 100% of those can be, be prevented when your plan is designed correctly, which is on you. Uh, we believe every person deserves to work with an honest and integral independent broker who puts your needs above theirs, and it doesn't cost you any more to work with us, but we believe it can cost you a fortune not to. I can't help you to commit, but once you do, I won't fail. Some of you might have heard some of those from Coach Burt. <laughs> He's my coach now since 8%. So, um, yeah, so that's our belief statements, and we lead with those, and it'll attract the people that think the same as you, and the people that don't, it's okay. As Coach Burt says, some will, some won't, so what? There's millions of people that need our help. So okay. um, I just want to mention real quick, we built our business on um, under 65 health insurance, and have made an incredible living on that. We added group benefits about four years ago, I do a lot of group health insurance, and then Steve um, started in the Medicare space. Um, and our FMO just really wasn't doing anything, so we're kind of all over. And so it was really, I think, a divine meeting to meet uh, Brian at 8%. Just, you know, we were going to, to the old people table <laughs> because all these young kids were in here. Not, not that you're a kid. Well, yeah, you are. Um, but anyway, so, so we, we've done done all of that and so we have multifaceted agency but we really, really want to share about under 65 and and bundling and and a lot of you are like probably checking out like who cares about under 65 i don't do that i do medicare or i do group or i do whatever final expense but every one of you should have an avenue for under 65 because in medicare their spouse may not be turning 65 Maybe in group, um, they're retiring, but their spouse is 62. They don't really want to keep working so that 
what do you call it, Betty or what, whatever name you <laughs> use, um, can continue on the group plan. So that's just a, a one example, but um, there's all of you should have an understanding and have an avenue to write this, and it doesn't take that many policies to add another six figures to your, your uh, pocketbook. Hey, real quick, there was no decision to make to do business with you. When you said you're a Cowboys fan, I was no, in. Yeah. You're in. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Done deal. Okay. <laughs> All right, know, we, here, know your options, right? What are, what are the options in under 65 health insurance in today's world? Anybody? This is audience participation. We, what's that? The okay, the Affordable Care Act, right? Yes. What else? Short term. Anything? Health share ministry. Indemnity. Indemnity, okay. So you, you, can, you can have a group health plan, right, from your employer. You want to speak to that since you do? You, Absolutely. You so group health insurance benefits I consider as the Tesla plans of this world. I used to say the Cadillac plans, but that just dates me. So tell us Tesla's the best now. <laughs> cool. So, so those Tesla plans are the nationwide network plans. Every doctor hospital takes them. They cover pre-existing conditions, maternity, mental health, uh, immunizations for the kiddos, free, free, free preventative. Um, that's the pros of a group health plan. And the other thing is